Ascarids are one type of parasitic nematode worms. Also known as giant roundworms, they affect the intestinal tract of vertebrates all over the world and can wreak havoc on livestock animals such as horses. Stick with me as I examine the life cycle, dangers, and treatments of Ascarids on this episode of Animals for the Win. This jar of parasites is on display at my local veterinarian clinic. They came from one of the horses here in rural North America, where parasites can be a real problem. Ascarids usually trouble young horses whose immune systems are not yet fully developed. They can lead to weakness, depression, stunted growth, and potentially fatal colic. Most Ascarids are host-specific meaning that they will grow to adulthood and reproduce in only one single type of host animal. These equine ascarids, known as Periscarus equorum, occur in horses, donkeys, and zebras, but are not capable of infecting dogs, pigs, or humans, for instance. Equine ascarids are usually the size of a pencil, but the females can get much larger, up to 14 inches long. Healthy female ascarids can lay hundreds of thousands of eggs per day. These eggs are passed on into the open and can lay dormant in manure for up to 10 years or longer until they are picked up by other grazing horses. Adult equine ascarids usually reside in the small intestine. However, freshly hatched larvae will invade the gut wall and travel to the liver via the lymphatic system. Then after about a week, they will molt, reaching the next larval stage, when they migrate to the lungs, traveling through the bloodstream. From there, they are coughed up and swallowed, returning once again to the small intestine, where they can mature into adults, mate, and begin laying eggs, typically within just 10 weeks from being ingested. It is common for adult horses to develop an immunity to ascarids, so they are more of a problem with young horses. If your horse is under two years of age, keep an eye out for symptoms such as weight loss, poor growth, lethargy, a rough hair coat, coughing, nasal discharge, pot-bellied appearance, and or colic. This problem can be taken care of with an oral worming treatment by your local veterinarian. Also available online if you prefer to take care of it yourself. I will post a link to oral worming treatments in the description section of this video if you would like to compare prices on the best horse worming medicines available. Until next time, thanks for watching Animals for the Win.